Hi right, guys, welcome back to another episode of What's in the Loft, Dad. This time I'll just do some nice street cars I've got. Uh, and the first one we'll go for is a Boss Mustang, a 351 Boss by Sunstar. No suspension at all. A nice old big British American motor. A three five one, all labelled up. Just there. Boss Mustang. Pony on the front. I honestly couldn't tell you what year this was. Maybe it'll say on here, but no, just made in China by Sunstar. That's all this is. Nicely detailed. Uh, spoiler. Splitter underneath. Nice crown bumpers. The boot does open, but it's taped down. Boss 351. 1971. <laughs> there you go. You look hard enough and it'll tell you when it was. Nice old American motor. Mustang, 351. Ram here. Nice matte black finish with a pinstripe. The steering wheel does turn. Cluster gauges. And the next one, a nice Porsche, not Porsche, sorry, nice Ford Cobra. Opening features, boot, engine bay, doors. Looks like a, a v, V8. This one's by Road Signature or Shelby Cobra 427SC. This is a 118 scale. Shelby American 40th Anniversary Limited Edition Cobra. Nice wood effect steering wheel. Steering wheel does turn. Two seater. Fire extinguisher, roll over hoop, nicely detailed engine bay, nicely rendered, if not detailed, nicely rendered. No suspension, doors do open, and the boot does open. Not much in there apart from the uh, Safety bar or roll over hoop carrying on. Little overriders, no bumpers, just overriders. Same on the front. See the old uh, cooling fan in there. Look at the size of this thing compared to this thing. <laughs> Looks like it's about ooh, good three foot shorter. <laughs> They're both 118 scale. Nice car, nice metallic blue. Nice bit of golf fleck in there, or flex. Don't anything catchy on there. Old star wheels, three point knockoff. And we have a Morgan Aero, Aero 8. So 
the one that looked bug-eyed <laughs> when it was driving towards you, looked like it's cross-eyed. Doesn't look very happy either. Oh, very sad. Nice car though. This one's by uh, Maisto. It's Morgan Hero. Engine, very basic bottom, but nice bit of a uh, nice for rendering off the bottom. There's the uh, the rear suspension arms. Exhaust through the side and at the back. Fair bit of suspension on it. Coloured calipers. Doors do open. External hinge style, but the, that's just not them. They do open. Boot does open. And very nice. The uh, butterfly wings. Uh, sorry, butterfly bonnet. Wacky very big hinge, but nicely rendered. And the same with the other side, that opens as well. There's the old Morgan engine. Very nice. It's all flapping away in a minute. <laughs> Steering wheel does turn. Supposed to be turned aluminium with the uh, ash wood uh, fascia cover, or is it a leather cover? I say it's wood because it sort of matches these two. Nicely done, though, very nice. Brake lights, fuel cap, aero. Don't know if you can focus it. There we go, aero, Morgan. And then we've got a BMW Z8, I think. Yep. BMW Z8. Yes. Again by Maisto. I think it was in one of the Bond films. I don't know which one, but it was in one of the Bond films, as far as I know. Let's see. The, yep. The engine bay does open. BMW M Power. Z8. Nicely rendered engine. Some highlights on it. The old. Uh, doors open on it. Let's see if the boot does open. The boot does open. Z8 and German push. Left hand drive. Very small binnacle for uh, the old the bits and pieces. I don't see a I don't see a speedometer on there unless it's one of these binnacles. Some suspension on there. Nicely rendered underneath. This again with the old torsion uh, suspension arms and stuff. Nicely rendered. As I said, it was in one of the uh, James Bond movies. I don't know which one. I'm sure it was in one of them. Is that eight? And talking about Mr. Bond. A Sunstar Aston Martin DB5 1963, made in China. Very basically detailed at the bottom, solid. This is not the actual Bond car, but it is a DB5. The Bond one would have a 
the spinners would be coming out, bulletproof, shield at the back, ejector seat. But no, this isn't the Mr. Bond car. This is just a nice DVS, a DV5 from Sunstar. A fairly weighty motor. Doors do open. Fixed seat. Let's see what the glass tap was. It says DB5 SM, but as I said, it's not. It's just a generic number plate that Sunstar have been using. So it hasn't got the uh, the bulletproof shield that would come out from there, nor the, uh, the hole in the lid for the ejector seat. But it's nice. It's got a half the half the windows down on this side. It's up all the way on this side. Very nice little detail there. As I said the seats are uh, solid, they're not going anywhere. Steering wheel turns. Nicely detailed interior. All the dashes. Supercharger. Oops, come back up. So it looks at the engine. Three SUs, uh, straight six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Straight six. Supercharged. As it says on the front. Or on the side of the uh, bonnet. Nicely done. As I said, even though the reg uh, registration, <laughs> you can tell why it's upside down. <laughs> Very nice of them. It was a generic number plate they used, but it's upside down. <laughs> Very nice. Nice logo, Aston Martin. And the next set of cars, these are the street racers. Uh, well, I'll say street racers up to a certain point. First of all, we start with the, uh, the ubiquitous. Porsche 918 Carrera GT by Maestro. It's a very basic bottom. Opening boot. Raising spoiler. Opening doors and opening bonnet. But as I said in my previous videos, these are all going back in the loft. I'm not going to take the tapes off. Stereo moves, suspension on it, nice black colour, all the details are there, the Porsche emblem there, nice uh, spoil uh, wings, rear wing, rear view mirrors, wing mirrors. Double pop brakes on the back. Mm, one set there, one set there. Front singles. Very nice. Carrera GT. I might be wrong, it's probably not the 918, it's just a Carrera GT. By the way, they incorporated the, uh, the rear braking light into the transparent divider. Next one, the Zonda. This one's by Solido. Zonda Pagani. Pagani Zonda, does it, is, it, is, it, is it an R? C12, I think it says on there. C12. 
C12 118 scale. A nice one. Nice details. Suspension. What oh, it says on there? Don't know if you can read it. C twelve. Put on his Zonda. Oh, we got you up there by that. Steering wheel does turn. Not very, not a lot of movement, but they do turn. Nicely detailed interior. Focus. Oh, there's way out there. Famous for his quad four exhaust. Nice rendering of the uh, exhaust at the uh, rear end. Zonda S, Zonda S again, let's see if we can open the back, shall we, yes, why not, let's open the back, let's have a look at this thing, there we go, it's going to be a complicated thing, Oh, got to open the doors to open the boot. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Nicely detailed doors. Nicely detailed doors. Next in line after the Porsche, it was Pagani Zonda, Zonda S. This one's by Salido. I honestly don't know what year I picked this up, but it's Pagani Zonda S. Let's have a look. The doors are opened. Nice chunky doors, nicely detailed, faux leather, blue and white seats, steering wheel turns, blue and white steering wheel, suspension on it. The uh, front doesn't open, but the boot does, and to open the boot, you have to open the doors. Nicely done. So, and there we go. Mercedes Benz engine, AMG. I think it was a V12, this thing. AMG, so this means. Carbon fiber effect uh, fuel tanks, I assume. Yep. Very nice car, very nicely done. Pagani on the kick plate. Did you have to open the doors to open the bonnet on this one? Or the engine cover? 
يلا اوكي باكين ماي سبلتر انديكيتورز Nicely rendered uh, rear. It's supposed to be wire mesh, but it's perspex made to look like wire mesh. The famous Pagani's uh, trademark four port exhaust, quattro exhaust. Very nice car. Okay, now we've got to look at the Pagani. Let's have a look at another one. Another. GT1 Lotus Elise by Chrono. This one's more of a display model, i.e., nothing opens. I the uh, the engine bay doesn't open, the doors don't open, the uh, hood doesn't open. Just a display model, really. But it's a Lotus. I've always liked Lotus. Couldn't get hold of a lot of them, but I did what I got. I got. Lotus Elise GT1, as it says on there. More of a display model than a, an opening working door model than anything else, really. Nominal suspension, just what's there. I think it's just a plastic giving way. Nice in detail, though. The, it looks like a Lotus Elise. On steroids, actually. <laughs> But nicely done. It, as I said, it's just a display model. Nothing opens on it. Nothing. No doors. No back. Nothing. Very nice car, though. I like it. As I said, it's a Lotus, and I like Lotus. Always have. Always been a big fan of them. Okay, that's the Lotus. Uh, one more racer. F1 McLaren, McLaren F1. This one's by Gilloy. This one I got for my son. He's a, a McLaren F1 P1 fan. Look at the size of the tyres on that. Very nicely rendered. Powered by BMW M1. Nielsen, Bauscher, and Mass. Very nice. 24 hour Le Mans GT1. McLaren GTR. Short wheelbase, not the LM long, wheel, long, uh, long tail. Or LT. Short tail. West F1. That's the McLaren F1. So this is my son's favourite car. I did purchase this one off eBay for him. Steering wheel turn, central position, driving position. I don't think you can see that in there. Steering wheel's in the middle. Steering wheel does turn. So that one I got is from Kilo and I got from eBay. And here's my Easter's rendering of it, 1993. As I said in the previous one, it's my Easter's version, this one. And this one's the Giloy version. This is actually the Maester version, 1993, F1. Little bits and pieces on it. The Spoiler at the back flips out. The doors do open. There are sort of gull wing things or forward forward flapping. The engine bay. Suspension. Central position again, steering wheel does turn, as you can see there. Central driving position. I 
very nice car. So my son's a, uh, an F1 McLaren fan, so I just get I got him a couple of these, or well, what I could find anyway. 